So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at a lovely little trick that you can do in clips, which is how you can remove an object from a screen. So I'm going to open up clips on my device and start a new project by tapping in the top corner. And what we're looking to do, I'm just going to take myself out of the picture. What we're going to look to do is remove this pepper from the screen on my device. So I'm just going to go through like how I created this um, and then I'll put a video towards the end of like how this actually works and what it actually looks like. But the basic process is um, on my iPad here, as you can see, I've taken two photos, one of the pepper in situation and one of the pepper gone. The picture itself is exactly the same. I haven't moved anything in the background. I've just kept the picture to be exactly the same. Now you could do this um, with paper and a pen if you wanted. You can draw something um, on the, the piece of paper and just make sure that you've just got two versions. Okay, So one with the object and one without the object because the idea is I have to replicate the motion of me looking like I'm taking that object out and having the object in my hand. So this is how I would do it then. So on the screen. Now I'm recording the clip screen um, as a screen recording. So some of the features are slightly different because it's not going to actually record the clip, but I'll show you the process um, in one that I've made earlier. So the idea here is I'm going to swipe up with the record. And if you tap and hold and swipe up, it will long record. And I'm just going to reach forward and I'm going to grab at the object. And then I'm going to stop recording. Now you can see in the bottom left corner I've got that clip. We're going to work on that in a second. I'm now going to move the picture across and I'm trying to keep my phone as still as possible. You can use a tripod for this if it helps. And now I'm going to grab the pepper itself. I'm going to hide it in my hand so that you can't see anything. And if I just start that long record again and start with my hand on the screen roughly where it was before and then do a reveal. There we go. There's the object. So now I've got these two clips. The process is just clipping them together. So if I go into clip number one, and I'm going to tap on trim, and I'm just going to take the end trim part to the point just as I grab forward on the screen, but not so far that you can see any of that pepper below. I want it to be quite a quick kind of motion. So there's about good. And you'll see here, this is what I mean about, you know, trying to have your hand in a position that's easy to replicate. So I went for the middle of the screen. So I'm going to tap trim. And then on clip number two, I tap on trim. This time I'm going to take out the start point. And I want to move it to the point where that reveal happens. So if I go past it and then trim backwards, I want it to be a quite quick reveal, actually, because you can imagine you're grabbing something out of the screen. You wouldn't really be pausing with your hand. So as long as I can't see the pepper at all tap trim and then when you play those two elements tap together and hold and swipe up it will long record and, get my and I'm just going to reach forward and and then do a reveal that there that transition the between the two is quite quite nice now the next thing to think of is because I've just uh, you know talked over that you also get my voice so a couple of just tips mute those elements that you're in that makes it continuity because there's no um, you know me talking in one clip and then it jumping to me saying something different in the next clip that means you can then add some music into this. So using the soundtracks, um, I'll just choose one for now just to add it in. And if I play that through. There we go. So a nice kind of simple process. So that's it really. If you're making them yourself, you want to have some pictures of the object in the shot and then a picture of the object out of the shot. Have the object in your hand and then just trim those two elements together so that transition is nice and neat. And then just mute the clips and add some music in so there's a continuous track playing. So coupled with the continuous image that you have in the background, that's where the magic comes in.